In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a new quiz or an exam. Uh, this could be a midterm exam or a final exam in the Moodle environment. And we are going to be drawing on some pre-existing questions. They could be pre-existing questions that are in a test bank uh, provided with your Moodle Norton course pack, or they could be questions that you've imported from exam view. And I covered that and um, how to do that in a previous, in a previous tutorial. Um, the point is that we're going to be creating an exam or a quiz, changing some of the settings, uh, delivery settings, and then we're going to uh, add a series of questions from uh, a test bank, either that, that you've imported, or in this case, that uh, we're drawing on from a test bank that's been included uh, as part of an, a W.W. W. Norton course pack. So, without further ado, let's get started. So in this first step, we're going to begin by clicking the Turn Editing On button. This is the first step to uh, creating a quiz, drawing on a test bank of uh, quizzes or questions that you've created earlier. Once we've turned Editing On, as you scroll down here, you can see that we have several different icons that are showing up that weren't available before. This is how you add various resources. And so I'm just going to go to this block of questions here. This is where I want the quiz or the exam to appear. And I'm going to add a quiz. When I select that, I'll then be presented with a screen which, which will allow us to give a name to the quiz, as I'm about to do here. And then I'm just going to adjust some of the settings for this particular quiz. Note that at this step, we're not adding any questions. We're just setting up uh, the specifications for how this quiz is going for exam is going to be delivered to students. So here I'm just giving students a little introduction. Um, this is just so they know that this is the fall 2010 midterm exam. Anything can go into that introduction screen and in introduction, uh, introduction box there. Um, you can also control things like the timing, um, how it's going to display to students, um, how many questions they'll see on one page, um, uh, if the questions are going to be shuffled, how many attempts are allowed. There are some default settings that you might want to adapt. If at any point you are uncertain as to what something means, you can always click on these, this question mark box here. And this will just provide a little bit of information about what those settings mean and what the implications of changing them are. Just scrolling down a little bit more, um, you can see all of the various options that you have here. And again, if you are uncertain as to what something means, generally, in this case, overall feedback, we can click on it just to get some, uh, a little bit more information on what those implications are. Okay, now that I've made all my adjustments to the delivery of the exam or quiz, I'm going to save and display. And the screen that follows will allow me to actually add questions to this particular quiz. So what I'm going to do is select this drop-down box and I'm going to draw questions from, uh, in this case, uh, a chapter one quiz um, bank of questions. Now you could use your own bank of questions. If you've imported questions from um, exam view, you can draw on that bank of questions. It's completely up to you. Be sure to hit the select all button to select all of the questions in a uh, bank of questions and um, move them over just as I've done here. Um, at this point what you want to do is save your changes and once you hit the save change button you can then click the preview tab right up at the top there. And this will allow you to take the exam or the quiz exactly as a student would. As you can see, I can look at my questions, check them over, um, make sure that this is all to my specification. I can even as um, submit this quiz as a student and see what they see. Now again, when I do this, nothing's going to go into the gradebook. This is just for me to see is my feedback, feedback if I've included it, reporting well, um, and also just sort of to judge um, look at the correct and incorrect responses to make sure that those are all correct as well. I'm now going to return to the main screen and we're just going to go into the gray book and I'm doing this to and I'm turn, going to click the turn editing off button so we can return to the um, default instructor screen. I'm now actually going to navigate to uh, the grades and I want to do this so I can demonstrate that the quiz that we just created has automatically been created in the gradebook. So a column is automatically created. And as you can see 
right at the end, the midterm for music appreciation, which you just created a moment ago, has been added. So that's it. This is how you step-by-step uh, -step first create a new quiz uh, from the main screen or an exam, and then uh, go through the process of changing the delivery settings. And then finally, what we did is we created or we added a series of questions from a pre-existing test bank. And that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful.